folks. Welcome back to Big Dub's Big Collection. And we're going to do part five today, which is various import figures that are some of my favorites. Non-12th scale, or just unusual. So we're going to start here with Play Arts Kai figures. Starting with the variant Captain America and Hawkman. I know that's a DC and a Marvel, but when you have the limited space for your collection and you have so many things, you have to figure out how to make it work. I really love both of these. That Hawkman is incredibly so big, so much going on there. And then look at that Captain America, that shield I really think is awesome. Go up to the next shelf and see some other mishmash. Got the Deadpool. Similar to that cat, really like. I like the metallic paint. It just looks so good. The Bane and the Joker from the Dark Knight series, they're smaller in scale. I guess the change of scale after those, or those movies were a different scale for some reason. Then you've also got Steampunk Batman and Wild West Batman. Again, these are all Play Arts Kai from Square Enix. I would like to get the like samurai type Batman and the Sparta warrior Batman on the lookout for those. Going up to the next shelf, get the Spider-Man. That Spider-Man is awesome. Just look at the paint, look at the application, the detail. Such a good figure. Magneto back there also, phenomenal. The cape is really good, has lots of sparkles. Got Carnage. Again, just, just really solid. I, I love the way these Play Arts guys figures look. There you see Dark Side and the back with the eye beams. Play Arts Kai figures are just really fun. And, you know, they're made by Square Enix. The way I define them is the variant ones are if our favorite comic characters were a Final Fantasy character. I have some others, Flash, Thor, they just live in different places, Iron Man, we've talked about that already. Then these are Mondo Ninja Turtles. I think these are technically considered six scale from Mondo Tees. Any Mondo art stuff often is very expensive. There's the Mondo Batman animated series, Batman, that's up for pre-order right now that looks really good. I love these turtles. I got the deluxe versions that has like Casey Jones mask and Shredder claw and the mutagen. Got the comics head sculpts on them. They do have the, uh, you know, the colored ones, the animated, the ones that a lot of people are more familiar with, but that's the comic version that's on them right now. And we'll come across here. Other Ninja Turtle stuff. This is a good smile. Made these four statues that created this diorama in the back there. You could get an art print if you bought them all, too. They are just phenomenal. I know a lot of people don't collect statues, but sometimes you can get statues that are just amazing. And then these are the SH Figure Arts Ninja Turtles. I like those as well. They look very comic-y. So you see across these two shelves three different versions of the Ninja Turtles, kind of Ninja Turtles through time. So I like those side by side. Come down here. This is where you start the Bandai Tamashi Nations. I think they're called the Meisho Movie Realization figures. Um, I just kind of call them the Shogun versions. So you got a couple of Vaders, Darth Maul, Django Fett, Boba Fett, Prototype Boba Fett. Just look at how good that stuff looks. There is nothing on your shelf that looks like those do. Go down a shelf. Got a bunch of troopers. Snow Trooper, got the bow and arrow. These guys with the flags that are leading the army. Big drum, spear. Just how cool are these? I don't see many people collecting these and they're missing out. I have all of them currently. Then you come down here, got the Death Trooper, the Imperial Guard. 
Shogun Spider-Man, Captain America. There is also the Iron Man and War Machine. I have those, but they're in the Iron Man cabinet. There's a Deadpool on the way, and I think a Wolverine on the way. Just pull back, give you a chance to look at these again. They're, they're just really, really solid. Let me move to the next cabinet and show you the rest of what we're going to look at today. Alright, so the last detail we're going to look at for this video is going to be first the Reveltech Amazing Yamaguchi figures. These are all Marvel right now. There is a Batman coming and there's a X-Force Deadpool on the way as well. You see Magneto, that Magneto, super cool. Look how articulated the cape is. Those hands, the magnetic feature works. You can have like paper clips and stuff on them. Deadpool, Captain America, that Wolverine back there is very good. Go up to the Spider-Verse shelf. That's Spider-Man, I love that Spider-Man. Very cool. You got Spider-Gwen. Then in the back, you got Venom, who's huge. And then the Carnage. Watch people's reviews of that Carnage. That Carnage has so much stuff you can plug into it. It is just purely so much fun to play with. Then we go to the final shelf we're going to look at today. This is what I call my shelf of big robots. So I've got here in the front Masterpiece Series Optimus Prime from... I think the first Transformers movie. That's a good figure. It looks good. It, it works well with these others. Behind him, I've done a review of that you should check out. From Bandai Tamashii Nations, the Solo Jigokan Gypsy Danger figure from Pacific Rim. It's excellent. It is incredibly articulated. Probably the most impressive technological, if you want to call it that, piece that I have. I love that ship that it comes with. And then Flame Toys. This is Drift. Also an incredible work of engineering. Lights up. Super articulated for how big it is. Just a lot of fun. These are expensive. The Masterpiece is about $100. The other two are, I think, between $250 and $350. Flame Toys is new. Uh, it doesn't transform that Drift, but it just looks great. I would highly recommend checking these out. So thank you for watching today. I'm going to call it for now. Be on the lookout for the next part and check out the earlier parts. I appreciate you watching my videos. Hope everybody's having a good day and I'll see you next time.